One of the greatest this sport has ever seen. From the United States of America, Aaron Gwynn. The only rider There's now. There's a problem with his yes. bike. He He's broke his down. chain. There's no more chain on his bike. I, he looked down straight away and the bike, there was a big crunch as he came out. I think you're right. Are we going to see a Nico Malali style run here from the World Championships? Malali getting fourth at the World Championships with no chain. And Aaron Gwynn, you're right. The derail is hanging off, I think. It's the chain that's still in there. I hope it doesn't go into his spokes. We should see now if there's any problems with that bike. Well, there clearly are something wrong with it. I'm just trying to see. I think the rear derailleur is missing, Claudio. But that doesn't matter if there's no chain. But that will seriously, maybe, I don't know, no chain perhaps. Well, that's seriously going to cost him along that pedal. We haven't seen him put a pedal in yet. He's but he's less up, than a though. second off. He's less than a second off. How's Aaron Gwynn doing it? Not a pedal stroke from the American. Oh, my word. That's the exact same thing that happened to Nico Mullally at the World Championships. Pedaling out of the gate, breaking his chain. Aaron Gwynn seems to have a habit of going fast in Leogang with mechanical problems. His brakes failed here actually in 2012 at the World Championships. Third here in 2010. And today, it looks like he's got no chain on that bike. Yeah, no chain. The chain has gone. Claudia was correct. The chain snapping right out of the gate. And Quinn pressing on regardless. This is one of the most exciting race runs I think I've ever seen in my life. Look, look, look. Oh, my word. Look at that stuff. How did he stay in touch on all that pedaling with no chain? The winner here in 2011. Can he deny it's still possible here? Can he deny Conor Fair in his first World Cup win? Less than a second back at split number two. What's he done down through the trees? Fairham was quick. We're now coming down towards the line. No. Three, three, four is the time to beat. Oh! Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Wow. Let's go find his electric his electric engine. Wow. How did he do that? How did he do that? What a dramatic race here.